dig. If anything, I don't usually apologize much. But I will admit what I said about HWRP and, uh, well, for, for all we know, BWA is dead. We can agree on that, Liam, for sure. And yes, with YKW, I did something, you know, went overboard a little bit. And I'm only doing this on here because of the fact that, uh, I don't remember, uh, showtimes, like, UK-wise as much, and I apologize for that. I'm getting better at it, but, you know, what it is, what it is. And... To be honest, if I'm not able to be able to be there, what is it? What is it? What is the show next Wednesday? Yeah, I already got some commitments for that. Um, but if I do make it, I'll make it there as well. But yeah, what I did say about ACRP was a little over the line, you know, with uh, YKW and all that bullshit with his little fucking Arab. Osama Bin Laden wannabe little ass over there. You know, it is what it is. You go over the top sometimes, you regret things you say. And I apologize for my actions. And honestly, yeah, if I was at the IWA pay-per-view, from what I saw, just for the match card, I know it was great. In fact, I know IWA in general is always a great show. Always a great pay-per-view, especially with lockdown a few days ago. With the Mike Adam Lee Championship reinstated. One of the greatest moments of all time. And one of the greatest eras was with that Mike Adam Lee Championship. And if anything, if I do come back, I do want a shot at that Mike Adam Lee Championship. Because if anything, like you've said, we can never achieve anything, or everything for that matter, unless we really try. And, of course, we can never achieve everything that we want to in, these, in our careers, in this sport we call professional wrestling. But that's one thing I do want to achieve before I fully retire, and that is that Mike Adam Lee Championship. So, Adam Lee, if you're listening... I don't care if it's YKW, I don't care if it's Jeff Jarrett, I don't care who it is. I don't even care who the champion is. When I come back, I want a Mike Adam Lee Championship match. And granted, I haven't done the HWRP style in a very long time, but I can adapt just like that. And let's face it, with YKW, Lord only knows what he's going to do next. Lord only knows if, the, if it's a fucking organization. I don't even know what's an HWRP nowadays. I don't know if it's just IWE. I don't know if it's IWE, PWF, uh, and the other federations that m merge with BWA. I don't fucking even know what's going on. I don't care. But I do know his IWE is one of the best promotions of all time. One of the best promotions. I got to work there for a little bit. And I just saw the talent. Um, one thing I do want to talk about before we end this here. And Liam, <laughs> it really kind of makes me laugh a little bit. With this Liam gay skin thing for HCW. Really? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me uh, and this really kind of goes with the subject I was going to talk about actually the night before I even saw this shit but I'll get to that at a later time because this is just fucking brilliant on your part if you want to be the next fucking Rico then go for it <laughs> it just I don't know what to say dude you somehow find a way to break the barrier and make it to the next level. You set the bar to these idiots over there in HCW. I can't... The look on their faces 
when they see this shit, or if they already have seen this shit, will be amazing. Wow. <laughs> Dude, sometimes I underestimate you. What the fuck? Uh, but yeah, seriously. If I don't make it, there's apologies being on here now. From the bottom of my heart, I know the UK wrestling community. I know what they're capable of. And more importantly, I know that they can always kick an American's arse any day of the week. Just from experience. No offense, HGW, it's true. But, if anything, YKW, if you really want to make this happen, keep it up. I dare you. You wouldn't even last a week. You wouldn't even last five minutes. The things I would do this motherfucker. The things I would do.